It is in the front. Okay. So it's the greatest story ever told. The night was freezing as you could see icicles form from the vapor of your mouth. They held each other's hand and whispered, I love you. The ocean was dark and the caverns were full of souls of all walks of life. They held each other as a tower of ice arose from the horizon. The scratching of metal and rushing water would leave the Atlantic paradise of the seas at the bottom of the ocean bed. Their money and their status would lay as mute as well. As women and children were called forth first, as hundreds were trapped below the belly of the grand beast, which is marveled as being indestructible. It whimpered and groaned at its own demise. They helped each other put on their life jackets. He helped her board the vessel that would determine her fate as he boldly lied about the reluctance of his own. Before the lifeboat could be lowered, and as the deck tilted slightly towards the stern, the Atlantic claimed its prize without protest. She looked at her husband and stepped off the lifeboat and into the arms of her greatest love and keeper of her heart. His fear increased as he protested for her to turn back. She turned to him and said, wherever you go, I go. He looked into her eyes, shook his head, and kissed her hands. They both perished that evening on that cold night of April in the Atlantic, but they were last seen sitting beside each other, holding each other's hands and whispering to each other, I love you. Someone, someone. Thank you. This is the story I've been told, it's been good.